Good morning, 47. We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA Board of Directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Just at the security station watching the feeds, there's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage. He wears like a 3D printed mask. Oh, yeah, that must be Bird. Oh, yeah, man, his interrogation techniques totally just out of box stuff. Like truth serums, drugs, that kind of thing. But uh, none of the rough stuff. Now, they don't like to mark up their patience, so to speak. Those Mossad boys like things clean and efficient. Bird. That's for Bird? Yeah. Yeah, man, I've heard of it. Chemical interrogation. A battering ram has injured one of the strike team, Point Man by the name of Burgess, and according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless Point Man of his duties.
Mexico it's operation. Huh. Guns got clipped too. by a ram or something. The team trains with a battering ram. So you got your ex military. Mercenary. There's another thing that's always been crazy. There's a cat alive. Been around for so long, you know, 24 7. He's taking his toll, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the canteen and this guy's just eating like a pig. Sucking his fingers, making animals something. Like what the hell is that? Sure, these are the new ones. I mean, yeah, they know how to handle the fire, but they don't know how to wash their hands. It's a goddamn joke. Yeah. It kind of makes me think they don't fan us enough. We aren't even get to kill anyone anymore. Uh, you need to go somewhere else and puke.
That is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate, turned well insurgent. Very own punching bag. Look for any intruders. Wounded pride. That's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Rose, Parvati. The point man is back in action. Let's get to it. Burgess is back. We're finally ready to make this happen. I expect you all to know this by heart. But in case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out! Armadi, please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. On your marks, ready, set, execute! Parvati is down. Good work. Multiple laser so dots on your forehead, mister. That should tell you to give it up. Those were some seriously hard. My plate just, just ran out. out. I'm moving in our target. She's over. She's the boss. She's very fine. 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 Mommy, you're worse. Yeah, don't come back. Fuck you, There's this guy in my door. I can get something to urinate in the bucket by my bed. Like we've got a washroom in the hallway, so what's your problem? That is Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. You need a special clearance, even if you're with the security detail. Sorry. Whoa, slow down.
What? Oh, you're back. Great. So, listen, I've been thinking, maybe the passage is just wrong. D did you check? I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I checked it. It's the first thing I did. So, maybe there's something wrong with the delivery system? Again, I also checked that. Listen, I appreciate your interest in my work, but it's a little hard to focus with all these questions. Not a problem. Exactly what I want to do with my day. Let me do my magic. This is an easy fix. I'm the man. Girls love a fixer. Up and running again, thanks to me. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. Who? The guy. The guy Ezra Berg has tied up in the interrogation room. He's one of the enemy's couriers. Still at the shelter, I presume? Quick update. There was a minor setback at the bottom. Burgess was hit by the simulated ram. No worries. If he's not up to par, I'll find a replacement. This is my operation, my strike team, and they will be ready. You can count on that. I won't let you down. Okay. Means a lot, boss.
keeps doing this. You're killing me. Oh, for I thought I told you to find that battery. It's not a toy. That's a big ten four. Buddy, take a hike. like a complete dick. Looks like somebody has thrown stuff around. I'm gonna have a look. Out. So you're all set for the sting? Sure. Put a badge in my pocket, prep my lines, shouldn't be a problem. Almost game time. Um, you, uh, think you can hook her? Graves is new. She comes by every two seconds to check on her work. She's paranoid enough to bite. So Rose basically wants you to pretend you're with Interpol, uh, get her to come with you, uh, and then what? I'm supposed to lure her to the slurry pit and tell her to roll over on Rose and the rest of us. I'm trying to get her to turn on us. Well, then Rose is going to find her a kick her ass, I imagine. Wait. Now oh, try again.
Penelope Graves. We need to talk. You're... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. <sighs> and what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. So, look, it's nice of Rose to think of my safety and everything, but I need to do something on my own here, so just come back in a few, all right? Assume name. Passport provided through Delgado and that vanisher guy. Look clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. Burn for. Huh? <laughs> Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. Well done, 47. Rose should be in for an explosive surprise next time he checks his email. That's 
all targets taken care of, 47. Now gain access to the tornado shelter. The plot thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Delvade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So it is. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. 